Hello everyone, in this video we are going to introduce the recording function and how to do configurations. At the bottom left, please click the start menu, go to settings, and click record to enter the configuration interface. From the drop-down menu you can see that there are two different modes, auto and customization. If auto is selected, you have seven different options to choose, for example motion record. When we click this option, a configuration window shows up, all the NVR added device will be listed, and you can configure the encode type, resolution, FPS, bitrate type, quality, etc. For more details you can refer to the user manual of other six options. Click OK after configuration is done. Down below there's an advanced button, you can add your own record mode here. If you choose customization, it requires you to set up schedule for each recording channel. By default, there are three types as shown here, but you can also click schedule management to edit or delete existing schedule or add a new schedule. As an example, here I will show you how to add a new schedule. By clicking add, you can see there are seven rows that represent seven days of a week. Please enter schedule name before starting. Drag your cursor to mark start and end time, click the eraser button to clear a time segment. Also, you can choose the manual to set the exact start and end time of each day, click OK to save your settings. All means 24 hours, reverse means to reverse your current configuration, clear all means literally. Click OK to save all settings. And the second module on this page, Manual Recording, it's for setting the countdown time when you manually do the recording in the preview interface. Click Apply to accept all settings. At the top of this page, there's another advanced menu where you set whether cycle record, stream and pre-alarm record time, post-alarm record time, or expiration time. Click Apply to accept all settings. In second module and code parameters, you can set the encode, resolution, FPS etc. for event recording, schedule recording, and record substream. In the third module record status, you can review the recording status of each channel. Okay, that is all about recording settings, thank you for watching.